after 45 years in the business. A Zan High School teacher is retiring. Her last day is tomorrow. News 12's Caroline Clewis Fletcher spoke to her about the legacy she leaves behind. I've learned that over the years that that you're here for the kids and not for the parents and so I've realized that my dedication is to the kids and so um, now I just more or less go with the flow with everything. Over the past 45 years, Cindy Rose has taught several grade levels, extracurriculars, and even driven the school bus. 31 of those years were spent here at Zanis, and most of that time went to second graders. Eager to learn, and that they come in here excited at the beginning of the school year, and they, they're like little sponges. Their brains are like little sponges. They just kind of soak everything up. Rose says she makes sure that each of her students knows she loves them, and they love her back. Rose says on the Valentine's Day after her husband died 12 years ago, a student noticed her crying. That Valentine's Day, he bought me roses. And every year he comes in my classroom, he did this year too, and he brings me roses. Rose has impacted the teachers around her too, including her teaching partner, Brooke Miller. This is my ninth year. I've been with her ever since I started teaching. She's taught me everything I know. So, mm -hmm. Sometimes a new teacher walks in and they're scared. They don't know what to do. Uh, they just need to know that, that all these other teachers have been here for a long time and just go ask for help and they'll be glad to help them. Rose says she's excited to have time to travel, but she plans to come visit the school often. I don't know. I'm going to miss you. I love you. I love you too. Reporting, Caroline Clewis Fletcher, News 12. Ah, that's so sweet. Well, big things are in the world.